and my stepfather was saved by Chibs, his dog. Uh, they're on Sunday night, so or Sunday morning, if you like to say it. He went out to get the dog, and the dog had intertwined his chain and harness around our bird feeder. I was not at home. He fell, and it was very cold that night. The dog ended up getting out of his harness, going up the hill to the front yard, and running back and forth until someone stopped to see what was wrong. The people, Terry Coble is her name, she picked up the dog and the dog started whining when she was trying to leave. They took the dog to the police station. Luckily, we had the dog chipped. They knew where the dog belonged. The police came back with Chibs in tow and they found my dad out in the backyard unconscious. He was hypothermic. He was rushed to Hershey Medical Center where he is making a recovery now. But if it wouldn't have been for this dog, he would have died because no one would have found him. I was out of town until it was too late. So he, he's our little lifesaver and he loves his daddy and well, he loves people <laughs> as you can see. So we couldn't live without the little thing here. <laughs> Being as it was just outside the borough, I drove out to the address out there, uh, tried to make contact at the front door, uh, knocked on the door, no answer. Uh, observed two cars in the garage at that point so I thought maybe the owner would have been home um, so we tried knocking on some of the windows no answer and at that point I went around the back of the house uh, to try and make contact at the back door and upon coming around the back of the house we observed the, uh, the home, home, homeowner uh, on the ground laying face down on the ground uh, somewhat bloodied. What time of day was this? Uh, that occurred right around uh, about, uh, about a half hour past midnight. Oh, okay. So, it was pretty cold that night. Um, realized that you know, the mail was probably in a little bit of trouble, so we grabbed a blanket from inside the house, secured it around him, uh, made sure his airway and stuff were good, and we called EMS to, to come out and transport him to the hospital. For, was he was he conscious or unconscious? He was unconscious at that point. Had some injuries to his, uh, I believe, his right arm. Uh, had some blood on his right arm also. It appeared that he had fallen at that yeah, point. Yeah. So it was Chips? Do you think looking for help? Uh, I don't know if I want to call it a lassie moment, but uh, it's quite possible, I guess. Mm -hmm. You could say that. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. So, have they uh, have they been reunited yet, the owner and the dog? I am not aware. I don't think the homeowner came home yet, uh, but I, I know that uh, the dog. We actually took the dog back and put it in the house that night. Not so. only did they check the dog, they found out the house was not secure. They came in, secured the home. Uh, got all the dog's belongings, his bed, his food, uh, his toys, and his treats, and took him back and until they were able to get a hold of me and I could get someone to pick him up. Yes, when they put a chip in, they put a, a tattoo there, so it's easy for anyone who has a chip reader to know where the tattoo is and to check uh, to see who is the owner of the animal. And I can't stress enough how people should go ahead and get their animal chipped because you, uh, you'll you get your animal back and you don't know when that animal can save someone's life. Has your dad mentioned him yet? Has he been able to? He has mentioned the dog, yes. Mm -hmm. And I have a picture on my camera of Chibs, so I showed it to him today. And you know, he was happy to see Chibs. He loves his toys. <laughs> so uh, he can't wait to be reunited with chips.